what I'm gonna do is use this machine called the Electro Pounce. It shoots uh, an electric current from a little handheld wand through the paper and into sheet metal. Basically, it burns tiny holes in it. So I'll trace the whole thing like this and I'll go and uh, <laughs> burn little holes in it. And I can then take a pad of chalk and dust the pattern and it will leave a chalk outline on the wall. The project is located at the end of the In Judah train. It's where the train turns around. So it's an interesting spot because it's the end of the line and the beginning of the line. I like that it was these two opposite things simultaneously. It's the beginning of your trip, the end of your day, and it's a nice metaphor for the neighborhood. It's a neighborhood in transition. It's an older neighborhood, but there's a lot of younger people moving in, new businesses opening up. And I wanted the artwork to kind of reflect that sentiment, that it's kind of a matter of your perspective, whether this is the beginning or the end, and whether that's a positive thing or a negative thing. My first job out of school was at Surfer Magazine. I was hired as the assistant art director, and then the woman who was art director retired, and so I took over her position. It was a dream job for me. I grew up surfing. I grew up reading Surfer Magazine, had a subscription to it. First day, we went to a photo shoot with Art Brewer and Greg Knoll, and I was just with surf royalty, which was super exciting for me. When I first moved to San Francisco, a friend of mine told me that he was going to open up a surf shop and he was getting a sign painted and thought that I'd be interested in seeing the place that was going to do the sign. So he took me down to New Bohemia Science where he was ordering the shop sign and I just kind of fell in love with it immediately. I started an apprenticeship the following week and then ended up staying there for over five years. I love old, like, Victorian-American signs, but I like signs from all over the world. I've traveled a bunch in Mexico, and I feel like, you know, just looking around my studio, that's a big inspiration for me. I love them all. I mean, I've had people in here that have asked me to shock them and I haven't done it. And I've done a similar demonstration when I've had some friends' kids over and I've shocked myself and was just like, fuck! And they thought that was the best part of the whole demonstration for them. <laughs>